Before we begin this month's plan with me, we wanted to show you some of our latest covers that can be found in our gallery. This is a mini collection we call Bloom. It is available in these three covers. One is in this beige color with the text, nothing less than amazing plans, with a beige header to match the front. Also this dusty pink color with florals, also available with a matching header. And lastly, the sage green cover with florals with a matching header. If you want to pick these, make sure you log into our website and click on the plus icon under My Images Gallery in the design tool when choosing your cover. We have also created sticky notes in the same Bloom collection, as well as notepads and desk pad planners. All these items are linked in the description below. Our classic washi tape in beige, pink and green also go really well together with the Bloom collection. In this plan with me for May, we will use the sage green planner with the sage green matching header. We chose a white elastic enclosure and a white spiral for this planner. This planner has a January start, but we will be creating a spread for May. We chose to have the monthly overview in this planner as well, which is placed before the start of each month. We chose option number 6, the best of both inlay for this planner, with vertical columns for the days of the week. We added the Bujo template to the right hand page, which is option number 12 when selecting your weekly layout. We chose a meal planner tracker and coloring module for the bottom of the planner. We will be using the Ladybug sticker sheet, which is our mini stickers. They are full of cute little bugs and animal icons to do labels and reminder stickers. We will also use some stickers from the Days of Focus box sticker sheet in this spread. And also some of our favorite sleek fine liners. The Amat fine liners in brown, beige, green, and pink. So let's get started on this spread for May. I began by checking that the fine liner colors would match with my header, as I wanted to keep the green theme throughout this spread. I just quickly scribbled a little swatch and a line with the different colors to make sure that they would go well with my header. I then picked out the checkbox stickers from the Days of Focus sticker sheet and added them to my busiest days, Monday through Thursday. I added the To Do Today sticker from the same sticker sheet above each checkbox sticker. I then placed a me time sticker on Fridays to remember to take some time for myself on my day off. I used one of the check box list stickers and added it to the top of the right hand page. I will be adding in a list there later. Then I decided to decorate the circle with these little floral stickers from the ladybug sticker sheet. I then placed the remember sticker in the dot grid section, which I will come back to later. I added a ladybug sticker to the label as well on that page. Then I added the to do today sticker, which fits perfectly into the banner across the top of the line section on the right hand page. I also added the green numbers to the list here. I 
added a weekend sticker to the weekend, I also added three little icon stickers for the gardening list I was creating. One for herbs, one for flowers, and one for veggies to remember to water the different sections. I then took some time and colored in the coloring module with the Emot fineliners. I would suggest using these as a mini mindful moment in the middle of your planning. It really does help the mind to relax for a moment. Don't be too concerned with the final result. It is the pen to paper and the mindful strokes that help the brain relax. So take your time coloring these. I sped up this video, but these take about 4-5 to five minutes to color and are a great way to add some mindfulness to your day. I continued on the same page, writing in a little quote to remind myself to slow down and be present. Then I went ahead and filled in my to-do list and then my self-care list. After that I filled in the to-dos for Monday and left the rest blank, as I like to write in each to-do for each day as it comes. I filled in the meal planner at the bottom of the page and the tracker as well. This tracker can be used in different ways. I just wanted to track my water intake so I cross off each box every time I drink a glass of water. One down, seven to go. That is it for this month's plan with me. If you want to create a similar spread, make sure you take a look at the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We love to hear from you. What would you like to see more of in our videos? Hope you have a beautiful May.